Dear friends, I am Amala Babu Thomas, Student Vice President, Sunrise English Private School, Abu Dhabi. I am currently studying in Grade 10. When Mr. Rahul Gandhi had come to Dubai, I had participated in a student's interactive session. I have also got a chance to ask him a question. I have asked about some relevant question which is based on women's empowerment. My question was this. From a lady like Annie Besant to now up to transgenders being included in the central politics of INC, but why women in the central rural area, which is the heart of India, has not been given much opportunities compared to the women we have on the central politics. What are the steps to uplift the rural women's to central politics as well as the subject about child abuse. Rahul Gandhi had given a clear cut answers to my question and after that he asked me since I am the school vice president you can also join us in politics. If any help required I can ask the assistance to him or his colleagues. After that session he has given a handshake also to me with the promise we'll see again. Rahul Gandhi is a kind personality who cared for me in that situation, answered all my queries with conviction. For me, it's a great thing. I will always carry these moments in my life. This all things have been reported in different medias also. In that particular session, almost all students were older to me. I'm the only student comparing to junior to all. Nowadays, suddenly some news portals are reporting falsehood things which never happened in that session. It's hurting as a young student like me with the aspiring spirit to enter public life. I've noticed some news agencies have put forward the news with caption highlights. Rahul Gandhi dumbfounded by in Dubai by little girl's question. The things mentioned in that news is not relevant and it's not happened in that event. I am the youngest one who asks questions to Rahul Gandhi. This kind of fake media reporting is really hurting me. And my advice to media people is that please keep your values and ethics properly. We also need to learn a lot from you. If you are reporting irrelevant news like this, we may think that this is through journalism. As a junior in that session, I am requesting all media professionals Please guide us in right path. Thanking you, Amala Babu Thoms.